But by uh, well, she is super smart. But you, but identity politics requires that you think people are monolithic in their votes and their approaches. Legal immigrants, Hispanics in particular, are very. Everybody's pro immigration, but they're pro. I mean, anti illegal immigration. And same thing with people of color. The uh, Trump is really making inroads in that, and he's in in. Uh, uh, in the black demographic. So there is no, if you dispense with the notion of a monolithic idea or, or a philosophical co coherence, then you can sort of get, sort of wrap your brain around like he keeps talking about women. Yes, until they get married, until they have kids, and they kind of, people's behavior and their philosophical uh, uh, preferences evolve and they, we don't, we don't know how to account for that. I'm not gonna trash the polls or trash the media or anything, but we don't know how to account for what people aren't telling us. And the reason they're not telling us exactly how they think is because when they offer any kind of opinion, which is just, even if they're just asking a question, then they're called a racist or a bigot or a homophobe or a misogynist. So, so this, people just shut up. So I think you're, I think you're both wrong about the house seats, I, and we're, you guys are still behaving like money is the message. What is, what is a Robert Francis O'Rourke have in Texas? Forty million dollars? <laughs> and I would say this. But we haven't counted the votes yet. And what do you think but, that's going to make a difference I, there? And I will say you just use Nelson as an example. Uh, Nelson is under his income and he's under fifty percent. Okay, I, look. That 40, right. I, I'm not. I'm. Just, I'm saying if. The Democrats win Florida by five or more. That protends well for other Senate seats. But I'm not. saying, but I don't know. I'm not saying that he's going to do that. I'm just saying that the, the, the Senate is hard. That would be a sign of a big, a big night. night. I, I'm yeah. not attacking. I know. You. I, I'm but, asking you. But, what if Nelson? <laughs> if Nelson loses, not... it is a disastrous night for Democrats. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It is a disastrous. Thank night. Thank you. If, mm -hmm. if the Democrats lose the Florida Senate. That's going to be that's gonna be bad. That's going to be all right. Really and we'll bad. we'll have Indiana I, in early. I thought that would that was. Is that an East Coast one too? That, okay, it's early. Now it's let me ask you close. another James right. Carvillian lesson that you taught me. That's always been right. If an incumbent is under fifty percent, they well, end up with their last number. He well, first of all, Rick Scott is as much of an incumbent as Bill Nelson is. He's the governor. It's not so. It's, it, it, it it's not a. A classic, and, and by the way, he's never been over 47, and he's an incumbent. But I'm not, I really don't want, we're going to know a week from tomorrow what happens. <laughs> I'm telling you to search anything. If Nelson loses Florida and you're a Democrat, throw up and go to bed because the night's over. <laughs> <laughs> That's 